it's interesting whenever you watch and track the movement of hurricanes like this, you'd think they'd kind of chug along in a straight line, but instead they actually kind of wobble a little bit. We can see this as evidenced by how it's been chugging along today. Notice it went northwest for a little while west then back northwest and lately it's been a little bit more northerly. It kind of maneuvers more like a staircase than it does like a straight line. So don't let that disturb you if you're tracking this on your own. If you see it looking like it's jogging to the west, it'll likely jog off to the north next up. That's the way that these things work and you can see for yourself kind of the herky jerky nature. In fact, the stronger the hurricane, the more it can tend to wobble like that. If it takes a track somewhere like this, there's going to be some real nasty weather at the Outer Banks because hurricanes are hundreds of miles wide. Aaron is too, and so this is a fairly close approach to the Outer Banks. That's why right now that yellow shaded area that indicates a new alert. That's a tropical storm watch. What that's saying is that by the middle and end of the week, Wednesday into Thursday, tropical storm force conditions are possible in the Outer Banks, especially the fragile most areas like Hatteras Island and Ocracoke Island. That's where the winds could be the highest and also where you could see some of that coastal overwash too. When we talk about really high waves, they just go right over the sand dunes and there's not much more to the Outer Banks than just simply some sand dunes. So that could flood those islands as we go into later on this week. You got to stay out of the water this week. It's just that simple. It doesn't matter which beach you're going to. Surf City reported a similar thing about 15 rip current rescues. Stay out of the water.